How's it going guys? This is John Moyer here from the Irish Photography Podcast. As mentioned on episode 2 recently, we discussed the Lee 10 stop filter. Now today I'm in the beautiful Bunratty in County Clare and I've taken time out today for my shoots just to go through the Lee filter and to show you exactly what it is and show what a 10 stop filter looks like and so on and how we attach it to our camera. So first of all, I happen to have a Lee filter bag here which is great. Anybody looking for a, for a filter holder bag, it's great. I can hold my soft grads and so on. Soft grads will be something that we will talk about on the Irish Photography Podcast quite soon. But for now, this is the Lee 10 stop filter. It also comes in a, one, it comes in a lovely case, a lovely, a lovely hard case, very protective case. Something I don't use now because I have my, um, my bag here with me. It also comes with an exposure guide. Now, personally, I don't use this now, but it was ideal for me when I was starting out using the big stopper for the first time. So for example, if I was shooting at a 125th shutter speed, if that was my normal shutter speed, I'd be told to expose by eight seconds if I was using my big stop filter. It's quite hard, it's durable. One fault, if you drop it on hard ground, it will crack, it will smash. Okay, so like everything, like a camera, like all photography equipment, we need to look after it with a lot of care. So to add this to my camera, I have the foundation system. I already have it put on my camera. I'm not using this today because the conditions don't allow for it today. I don't need to use it today. But just to show you where it goes into the camera, I'll show you right now. We attach it to the front system. On my foundation kit, I can actually attach three different filters. I'll put the, the, the 10 stop filter to the front and if needed, I can apply my soft grads beyond that as well. Up to two more filters if I need so. And that's basically it. It's, it's a great filter. I would highly recommend it. As we said in the podcast, it's great for photographing um, motion in the sea, whether you're in a forest and you want to get a very silky smooth going through the rivers, and ideal for the sky. On a, on a nice windy day, if you keep your, your, your tripod nice and stable, I wouldn't have my um, strap on it if it was a windy day at all. Any bit of vibration, give you a bit of um, make your image soft. For the clouds, if you can see, we're in Bunratty Castle now. On another day, which I will come down quite soon, I want to get the clouds coming towards me, nice and strong. The filter will be ideal, and I'll just get this lovely streaking movement of the sky over me, and I can actually visualize it as a very dramatic black and white image as I'm sitting here today. So not only am I taking another shot now, I'm taking another shot further down the line, thanks to the 10 stop filter. Okay, guys. You can get that filter in Cons, which is a Dublin great camera shop up in Dublin, Whedon's cameras in Limerick and also in Barker's in Cork. It comes in at around 130 euro for the filter alone. You will need to get a foundation kit as well, which is, which is retailing at around 85 approximately in those stores too. So check out, um, as I said, Cons in Dublin, Whedon's in Limerick and Barker's in Cork for now. Great stores and you get great advice there too. For now, tune in to the next episode of the Irish Photography Podcast for more information on VSPs, which is our very solid product. Thank you guys, I'll talk to you all soon.